Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and D23 is currently underway in Anaheim, California and the Disney Plus streaming panel just ended so here's what you need to know. Channel, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification. I'll put out videos every single day. You can also find me over Twitter and Instagram at MovieGuy365, as well as the Dizzy Magic Hour podcast. I will go ahead and leave a link for that in the description. All right, D23 is underway, and we are expecting a ton of announcements. The first big ones included are in the uh, Disney Plus streaming service panel that just ended. And there was a lot here. There were some surprise announcements, some especially in the Marvel camp. There are a couple show, live action shows that were announced. We're going to talk about those in just a moment. And of course, there was a big Star Wars series announcement. Uh, they also showed the first trailer of The Mandalorian. I'm going to go ahead and link my reaction video at the end of this one. So you can check that one out if you are interested. So yeah, all right. Disney Plus streaming is on its way. November 12th, it launches. I personally can't wait for it. There seems to be a ton of content. And judging from what we might be getting just in the Marvel camp alone, that's enough of the uh, price of, of the subscription, in my opinion. It's going to support uh, 4K HDR for us fans that like the higher end content as far as picture and audio quality, as well as Dolby Atmos. That's exciting news in and of itself. All right, so let's talk about what was featured. That now they did uh, touch on a few things that were previously announced. One being the Phineas and Ferb movie. I actually liked that show when it was on and I enjoyed it. I'm glad that they are doing a, a, a movie for it exclusively for the streaming service. I can't wait to check that out. And also they're uh, talking about a sequel series to Lizzie McGuire. That is also getting a sequel is, you know, kind of a, uh, you know, 20 years later type of series or whatever it is. Uh, that, you know, that's not my thing exactly, but, you know, for families and such that were fans of it, the original, that's something to look forward to. Now, jumping into the Marvel camp, they briefly showed, uh, animated, a little bit of a, a clip from an episode of What If, featuring Peggy Carter as Captain Britain, and they teased, uh, Marvel Zombies, which was really interesting. I didn't get a chance to take a look at that footage yet, but just, I, I love that series, so how that's going to work on a Disney Plus show. I don't know, I guess we'll find out, but that's a very interesting premise. Also, the surprise announcements, and these are included. I don't believe these are actually going to be Phase 4. This looks like it's going beyond Phase 4, which leads me to believe that any announcements we get tomorrow is going to be past Phase 4, so that should be really worth checking out. But anyway, they announced that there's going to be a Camilla Khan Miss Marvel sh uh, show that will be live action. All these are going to be live action. That looks very, very interesting. They also announced She-Hulk is going to be a Disney Plus streaming show that uh, my mind is reeling from that one. And I think the biggest shock and surprise of all, it's going to be a Moon Knight live action series. Imagine the possibilities there, folks. Also, they announced that there's going to be, now this is exciting for me. So the Falcon and the Winter Soldier show, we already know about that. We already know, you know, it's coming and when it takes place, you know, per uh, uh, San Diego Comic-Con but that one of the characters featured in this is going to be U.S. Agents. Oh man, I cannot wait for this. U.S. Agent was one of my favorite arcs in the Captain America series. I always loved the costume, especially when Steve Rogers was the captain for a while. Ah, if we get even a hint of that costume, that is going to be amazing. I cannot wait for that. Emily Van Camp is also going to be reprising her role as Agent 13 in this one as Sharon Carter. Oh, I can't wait. That sounds really exciting. Those are some great, great shows that they, they are going to be putting on the Disney Plus streaming. This this They want to sell this, this uh, subscription service. I think it's going to be worth it. Also, as an announcement, as I mentioned earlier, they did show the Mandalorian trailer and the long-rumored... Obi-Wan Kenobi is officially getting a series on Disney Plus. So it looks like that's going to be the show following The Mandalorian. Wow, there's a lot to unpack here. I'm extremely excited of what we're going to be getting with Disney Plus. The future looks bright. If you are a Marvel DC fan or just a Disney fan, there is a lot to love here. They even showed a trailer for Lady and the Tramp. That movie is going to be featuring on Disney Plus. That looks interesting. I really dug the look of it and I love the animated feature, so I'll be anxious to check that one out. Just a lot to love here, guys. I mean, if, if what, let me know. Let me know in the comments. What are you excited about? What at D23 so far have they shown that is getting you just pumped up? 
I can't wait for tomorrow. There's going to be huge news. I just stay tuned to the channel if you want to check out my thoughts on them. And just let me know what is about D23 that got you excited for the Disney Plus streaming. All right. And in the meantime, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. I put out videos every single day. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.